All right, welcome back to CentralValleyTalk.com. Let's talk business. Let's talk with another local author named Kanina Johnson. And look, she has a book called Walk in Your Power. I like that name. That's just a powerful oh, name. Oh, yeah, because we have power. <laughs> Kanina, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I am great. Yeah, she's just got this bubbly, positive attitude, yes. which I guess is important when you're talking about... That's <laughs> right. I'm all about positivity. I am you a product of the, the product. Look at that. That... <laughs> Power look. Yeah. <laughs> so how? Tell me how the book came about. Well, the book came about uh, really back in about uh, 2004. I became, oh, so this has been out for no, a while. No, it haven't been oh. out that long. That this was when how, you first got the is, idea this for This is it. how it came out. Okay. In about 2004, I started searching for spiritual answers. I wanted to know who I am, who, you know, why I'm on this earth, uh, who is God. You know, I just had those, those, those questions that many of us have. And as I was searching through the journey, I discovered my life purpose. In about, uh, probably about 2009, 2010, I had an idea where uh, I was guided to write a book. I had never had an idea to, to write a book. But because I was so compelled with what I learned, with my journey of searching for spiritual answers, I was like, I'm going to write this book because this is the answer to life because earth operates in an orderly manner by law and when i discovered that i wrote my book so my book is talking about the laws that governs the universe hmm. they are working in our lives so we know it or not now is this a scientific book or is it a spiritual book well um you say all these laws that we're guided by well i'll say that it is a spiritual book uh, is actually helping you understand how to live day by day from the inside out. Uh, like I said, um, they're working in our lives if we know it a lot. One of the laws that I know everybody knows, but they probably don't know that it is a law that governs this universe, one of the main things is the law of thinking as a man think it, so is he. That's actually true to us. The law of thinking that's actually thinking. it's in the bible um the law of thinking one of the things that i did learn in my research of searching for answers i realized uh the law of attraction and a lot of people i noticed that a lot of people say what is the law of attraction <laughs> or they'll say uh that's not true you know i don't believe in the law of attraction because god and all those different things but actually the law of attraction is operating in our life if we know it or not we're, we're attracted to everything Thank in some you. way or another that's connected to the the uh uh Thinking the way we think, that's, that's actually what the law of attraction is, is when we focus whatever we focus on and get emotionally involved in, we're actually attracting it into our lives. And so what we want to do is understand how to do it on purpose. And the way we want to learn how to do it on purpose is actually what I spoke about in my book. All right. On the cover, after it says walk in your power, it says how to fall in love with yourself and manifest your true personal potential. Correct. That's a lot of information to pack into a little book. There. That That's right. Although I talk about the laws that governs the universe, I also talk about attitude, uh, attitudes or uh, thoughts, feelings, and actions. I also have a chapter in there that speaks about um, that's, uh, purpose, and it speaks about um, purpose, visions, and goals, because we all here on earth has been given a purpose for life, and only you yourself can discover that purpose. Mm -hmm. But I do guide you along to help you understand how to discover your purpose. And mainly, one of the ways to help you dis uh, discover your purpose is think about what you like to do every day. What do you love to do? What sleep. comes na natural? <laughs> you know You know what? This is I how I found my, my purpose. I love to talk. I just love to talk. I love to talk. I love to you talk. You should get your own show here on Central Valley Talk. I, and I'm very empower <laughs> empowerment. Whenever I talk, I'm always uplifting people. And so that's what I feel my life purpose is, is to empower and uplift people. Did you know anyone can have their own talk show on Central Valley Talk? Yes. Yeah. I think he'd be a great host. I do. You should look into it. Wow. <laughs> Can't you see her being a host? I sure can. Yes. Hostess. Yes. Hostess. Thank you. Would Thank you like you. your own weekly show? Thank you. Right. Hmm. <laughs> Jeff, if you're out there. <laughs> yeah, I think I like being behind the scene and being interviewed. And stuff. You know what? You're not a behind the scenes person. You, know, I, you are out there. I am a very positive person. 
person and I am a, you know, I get that all the time. Kanina, you're so uh, inspiring, so uplifting. And what made me really reach out right now to my local community, because I am a, um, I, I see myself as the best kept secret. I've been a local business owner for over the last 17 years. Carpet cleaning. Yeah, yeah. I own a carpet cleaning company. Although I work behind the scenes, I own many other businesses. I've been in the, I had a group home. I've been in that industry for over 11 years. And so what I did is I kind of shift and I went as a life success uh, coach which I'm still in the same field, but it's just a different title. Mm. Instead of working with mentally challenged people, I work with people that are able, and I help them to become more able. More able? Yes. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, I noticed you, you dedicated your book to your mom. Yes. Was she an important part of your life? Yes, my mom was an important part of my life. I am the oldest child. Of how many? Uh, uh, three. I am, I don't want to say my age. Uh, well, I was born, you know what? I'm proud of my age. Say it, I, girl. Yeah, <laughs> I'm born in 1968, Woo. December 1968. So I'm currently, uh, I don't know. I didn't keep track of my, yeah, 37, 45, 40, <laughs> 20. Everybody think I'm like 20 some years old. But, I would have uh, guessed 20s. Yeah. But uh, in regards to my mom, my mom, the last time I spoke to my mom was on December the 6th of 2006, on my 38th birthday. She was in the hospital. The next day, she left this earth. Aww. And the reason I dedicated this book to my mom is because as a child, you know, I had a, a really pretty, I, I want to say, a, I don't want to say a heart growing up, but I was a child that was abused. And... Um, I realized after my mom passed that she gave it's gone off <laughs> that she gave birth to me as a teenager, and I realized that she had a hard time. You mean and she I, was a teenager when and she my had mom you. gave birth to me at the age of nineteen. Wow, okay. I really didn't really understand that concept and all the things that she went through. I honestly until she passed until my awareness I gained high awareness and. That's why I truly dedicated my book to my mom, and I also dedicated my book to everyone else that desire a higher level of awareness. Okay. Well, I think we could talk all day about this, but yes. unfortunately, we're running out of time. The book is called Walk in Your Power, and tell everyone where they can find it. You know what? My book is my book is released worldwide. I have it on print on demand. If you walk in any bookstore and they do not have the book, you can ask them to request a book. You also can get it on Amazon or you can go to my website at www.kaninajohnson.com. It, 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 it will give you more information how to get my book. Once again, that's www.kaninajohnson.com. Isn't it cool to hold a book that you wrote? Yes, yeah. it is amazing. It truly is. Yeah. It truly is. Thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you, and this is Appreciate my gift it. to the world. Her gift to the world. All right. All right, you're watching Let's Talk Business on CentralValleyTalk.com.